I'm from Halifax. Uh, a couple East Coasters here. Nice. I moved here in uh, 2013. Made 24 grand in 2013. Big year for me. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Uh, we got some low income earners here. Good. Excellent. Uh, now the thing with 24 grand, pretty easy to punch in a quick tax. I did my taxes. Uh, I got a letter from the government a few months after that. Which at first I thought this was a good thing. I thought it was going to be like a motivational poster that they had for the guys that make 24 grand. You know? It's like a picture of a cat hanging on a branch. With text that says, hang in there. We're going to need to when we go to war with China. You need good front lines material. So I was excited. I opened it up and uh, I looked at it and it was an audit. I got audited. <laughs> The year that I made 24 grand. I don't know what about the two T4 slips flagged the system, but uh, some auditor was like, 24 grand, this guy's getting a yacht somewhere. He's uh, got diamonds up his ass. I don't know. I don't know what they thought I was hiding offshore. I can't afford to get to shore, you know? 24. It's not a lot of money. I think they should give you a bit of slack. You know, I paid them, which is fine. I did owe them it, but uh, I was kind of ticked off because since then I've read that the audit rate for households in Canada is higher than the audit rate for big corporations. And uh, these auditors say that's because some corporations are too big to audit. Which sounds crazy, but I'm kind of lazy too. I think I can explain this for us. I think this is how it would go. They come in at work. They're like, you see the Johnson firm there? That's like six weeks of work. <laughs> They're safe this year. You know? But then I'm like, wait, if I don't audit, how can I be an auditor? Uh, okay. Who's this guy here? Dave Burke? <laughs> Worked at Staples this year. <laughs> Let's mess him up. <laughs> I don't know what line I messed up on. 24, I really feel like you should be able to do your taxes in crayon and send that in there, right? Right? Am I right? Yeah. I'm seeing some places like you should be able to use, and that's fine. But I really think if you're making like 20 or less, right? It can't be that many of those. If you're making 20 or less, you should be able to poop in an envelope and send that to the city, right? Okay, he's good this year, he's fine. That's... They, uh, they got rid of the bus pass tax credit as well this year. Did you guys hear about that? It's gonna hurt me, I ride the bus a lot. Uh, and the reason they got rid of it, they said it disproportionately benefits the wealthy. <laughs> People that are laughing have ridden the bus before. Uh, I don't think it benefits the wealthy. Maybe the pissy or the crazy, but not the wealthy, you know? Like on the Toronto, it's, it's kind of rough here. Like I've been vomited on, assaulted, yelled at. It's not good, and it happens every single day. There's a sign on the front of every bus and streetcar that says every day at least one transit worker is assaulted. I don't like those signs. It seems like an invite, you know? It's, uh... <laughs> they want to reduce the assaults. I think they should say every day at least one Toronto transit worker assaults somebody. <laughs> We hire a lot of loose cannons. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. Thank you. You know, I don't need that stinking bus pass tax credit. It's a better fiscal year this year for me. Uh, if you could claim sex, I'd be on it again. I'm crushing it. Yeah, they wouldn't believe it any more than you guys do. You hit the fat out again. I have, I've been doing well. I got some action recently. It was uh, three weeks and four days ago now. So thank you. Thank you so much. A lot of guys have been getting itchy after three weeks, four days. Not this guy. I'm uh, built for the dry spells. Biologically, it doesn't bother me. I evolved this way. Uh, and what you
you would call a sexual cactus. <laughs> A little bit of moisture, must be six months. So, uh, <laughs> I'm doing very well, too, considering I live in a basement apartment, which can't be helping, you know? It's tough to bring a lady home to a basement. It's like, do you like pancakes and centipedes? Come on over. <laughs> you can feed the little spiders together. No, I don't want to feed your centipede spiders, you weirdo. <laughs> Yeah. The worst thing about my apartment overall, there's a lot of problems, it's hard to top centipedes, but the worst thing is my room is right below my neighbor's bedroom. Yeah, you guys know where this is going. I have to wake up to the sound of him making sweet, loud love. Pretty often, like once every couple weeks, and that's not a good reminder for me. And it's really loud, too, and it's never a good time, like 3.30 in the morning, wake up, like, really loud, you know? There's like a full second you snap out of your sleep and you're like, true, you know? But then after that second passes, you realize, this is just my life, I've heard this before. And relax a bit. Just lay down there. And just listen, I guess, is what I usually do. Just lay there. It's like, oh man, I got to A couple weeks ago, I was going in, it was so weird. I never wanted to hear another guy finish more in my life. But in a very straight way, you know? It's not like, come on, yeah, come on. There's knocking on his door. He looked look, man, it's so loud down there. I have to work in the morning. Can I tip your balls or something? What do you like? That's it, the day of work. Thank you.